Good day, campers. Today we're going to talk about air conditioner, airflow upgrade. A lot of um, RV manufacturers now are using this Coleman Mac air conditioner and a roof ceiling ducting system. The problem is, is they're not doing it very well. So there's ways to get increased airflow out of this air conditioner. We'll do that. And then at the end, we'll talk a little bit about cleaning up the vents. All right, so in here, we got this little divider that is absolutely in the wrong place. We're not gonna reuse this, that's gonna get thrown away. You'll see these are the vents going to the ducting, one on each side. This is the air inlet. This is where the fan blows the air out. So you got all this wide open space and the air has to figure out how to get into these vents. So what we're gonna do is build a system in here that's gonna make the inside of this box smaller and direct the air into these two vents. So the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna measure <coughs> from here to here and I got roughly four and a half inches. Oop. Skip a step. The first thing I want to cut is this piece because that's going to help me get the dimensions for these two pieces. So I know that we're going to come up from the bottom an inch because that's the thickness of the foam. So from the top down to here, is five and a half inches so I'm going to cut a piece four and a half by 14 and a half so we'll take a little break I'll cut those okay so now what I have is a piece cut to fit in here it's 14 and a half by five and a half just to be clear this was bought from Lowe's you can get it in the insulation section it was a two foot by two foot by one inch thick and we're using regular uh, HVAC um, silver tape. So now what I'm gonna do is put this piece in here. And I cut this to fit really tight because I don't want any air leaks. So now what I've done is I've lined it up with the air intake and pushed it all the way up. So now I got the dimensions for the little pieces. So this side is five and a half. This side, as we can see, is smaller, and it's going to be four and a half by eight and a quarter. Now, depending on who built your camper and how this air conditioner is put in there, your dimensions may vary. Okay, so now what I've done is I've cut these two pieces. I've cut this really steep angle so that when I put that up in there, it's flush and I can tape it. I've cut these with this little straight hacksaw blade. Some people cut them with a little jigsaw. Um, I tried to cut it with a razor knife. Doesn't work, it just chews the foam up. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to measure 
for the cutout for this, the bolt that comes down. So I have this really precise measuring method where I just press it into the bolt and it'll leave a mark and I'll cut that notch out and we'll be right back. All right, so now what I've done is I've put those two little pieces in here and I've taped everything up where I have a nice smooth transition from this opening to the two vent openings. So now this will give us a good, smooth, clean airflow. The next thing we're gonna do is build the bottom, which will, with a little TP on it, is gonna direct the air right into these vents. So I know that this is my center. I'm going from here to the outer edge and that's going to be nine and a quarter. Should be my same 14 and a half. All right, so this is our bottom piece that we've cut that fits in here. Notches cut out of it for the bolts. The next last step is this forms uh, a tent or whatever you want to call it that sets here on the bottom in the center, just like this. And then that whole assembly goes in. So the next thing we're going to do is tape this all up and then we'll install it. All right, you can call this whatever you want to call it, but basically what it's going to do is direct the air out and into the ducting. This is where the back piece fits. Cutouts for the bolts. So the last step is you tape all of this up and put the air conditioner back together. All right, so everything is all put together. I have taped up all of the, any place there might be a gap where there might be any air leaking. So now all of the air from the fan is going through the vents. So now we'll put it together and if you'll stick around, I'll talk a little bit about cleaning up the vents. Okay, the one other thing we want to talk about is these vents. When the factory puts these vents in, they run their tape around this way. What happens is it sticks to the top, does not stick to the bottom. So you have air leaking around this and going inside the ceiling. What I've done with all of my vents is to take this part down and tape from top to bottom all the way around. Now I don't have any more air leaking. Those two things together you should notice a big increase in air conditioner efficiency. Thank you for your time.